Hey guys, welcome back to the Nerdy Dad Vlog. I'm back in my car for yet another video. Uh, today I would like to show you guys um, another awesome action figure from my collection. And um, I think um, you guys will get a kick out of this, especially if you're from the 90s. Um, this particular character was a big part of that era. Um, a satirical character, um, a lot of satire as far as the superhero genre goes. So um, let me get into it and show you guys who this character is. Um, this is Ben Edlund's uh, The Tick. Um, and this particular figure is from the Indie Spotlight um, line. I think it is from the wave, the second wave of that particular line. Um, this particular figure and that line was made 10 years ago. I can't believe it. this was um, It's been that long um, This particular guy um, is the translucent um, Mucus tick figure. Uh, I'm not sure if I got that right the mucus. Yeah, the mucus tick figure um, if you are familiar with the tick um, and you're familiar with the cartoon show from the 90s um the Tick uh, fights uh, Thrakerzog, um, who is a um, an alien from another dimension. Um, uh, actually, that's his neighbor. Uh, Thrakerzog is his neighbor. Um, he steals um, a tissue that the Tick uses um, when he is sick and he blows his nose, steals that, that mucus, and um, uses a machine to make a clone out of the Tick. So this is a representation and recreation of that particular, um, you know, that, that particular character. So this isn't, it, technically this isn't the tick. This is the mucus clone of the tick, but this is a great representation of the tick nonetheless. Um, I actually bought this figure a long time ago, hoping that, um, thinking that I would repaint this particular guy. But um, I really can't get myself to repaint him. He just looks so awesome in that translucent green color. I, I'm just a sucker for translucent action figures. I mean, it's you put him against the light, and um, I don't know if you know, well, I can't really get the light into here. But you put him against the light, and he just looks beautiful. Um, let me try to uh, put him in the light for you guys. See if, uh, if you, see if that will work. Okay, so um, I'm actually um, putting him in the light um, to show you guys how he looks. I mean, he just has a great look to him, um, especially in the light. That translucent color just pops. Um, just beautiful. I couldn't get myself to repaint them because of this feature. I just think it's a great feature to have. Um, so uh, please don't mind my amateur camera skills, but this is just a great figure. I have a lot of sentimental attachment um, towards the tick, um, you know, for the same um, uh, reasons that, you know, I love the Ninja Turtles growing up. Um, because they had that, um, it was just a great superhero satire. And um, this guy, I, I don't really love as much as the Turtles, They're just in a different way. But I, I really love that they made such a highly posable, highly detailed character uh, regarding the Tick and, and even the cloned mucus henchman of the Tick. I mean, uh, I can't really see any toy maker making a mucus toy. Uh, anytime soon um, and I can't believe this was 10 years ago I mean god I'm getting old but um this also comes with a certain amount of accessories uh, which I'll pull out for you so since this is the evil tick um, he comes with an alternate head and he has this like um, evil devilish look to him like he's up to no good um, really cool um, um, alternate head uh, gives me more reason to not repaint this guy and just to keep him as is. Um, uh, if you guys look on eBay, 
um, the uh, actual, the original blue tick, um, go, it's really hard to find, very rare. Um, and if you do find it, it's upwards of 80, 90, a hundred dollars just for a loose figure. I can't bring myself to pay a hundred dollars for uh, a loose action figure. Um, even for something that I regard in such high esteem as the tick. Um, but really cool, um, alternate head. Then he also comes with, um, uh, like, uh, alternate hands, uh, and if you see in there, um, there's a hole uh, Dremel within it, uh, within within it, um, in order to um, hold the stop sign, um, which I don't really understand how to um, put it on him, or to maybe maybe I could pull this out. I don't know, um, but I don't want to break it. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to pull this out. Um, so I'm just not going to use the alternate hands. I'm just, I guess if I lose these hands, I'm just going to, I got some extra hands. But this is cool. I mean, I've always liked um, the idea of having like stop signs and, you know, having like stop lights to, to build a diorama. Eventually when I have time in between taking care of my daughter and uh, home life to make a diorama that is on my bucket list as a nerd and just as a you know as something I'd like to do um really great action figure I cannot I cannot recommend this enough and actually you know what let me let me change the head so I can show you guys how he looks um with a different head and hopefully I don't oh man hopefully I don't break this uh I know I don't have great um luck with this but, oh, actually, it was relatively easy. Okay. So, let's pop him on here. Just snap. And, wow. That, that gives him just a really great, intense look on him. And I think I'm just going to keep that. I'm going to... That is a great look to him. Um, yeah. Mucus tick. Uh, highly... Highly posable. I mean, okay, so I didn't even go into the how many points of articulation. So it has one, one at, uh, at the neck, two, so you could twist the neck around, which I'm really loving. Um, ball joints on the shoulder, so four. Um, swivel joints, swivel joints on the elbow. Sorry, I can't speak. So six. Um, you could turn the wrist, both sides, of course. Um, so it's symmetrical in that aspect. Eight. Um, you could uh, move the torso nine you could turn I think you could turn the bottom torso it looks like it or actually you know what yeah you can um, more so you can uh, move them up and down so 10 um, ball joints on the hip 12 um, joints on the knee um, I think there's swivel joints I'm not sure what the particular term for this kind of joint is it um but uh four i think we're at 14 i don't know 14 and then 16 um and then this just this amazing sculpt um tons of detail and the um the proportions of his body i mean he's just a oddly shaped uh superhero you know it's very top heavy um huge chest huge wide shoulders um the proportions are just fantastically accurate um small legs and huge upper body um on point really great representation of the tick and the mucus tick um love this action figure i'm so happy that i have the tick in my collection and um i wish indie spotlight came back and made more action figures like these um, I really do. More more tick figures is always a plus in my book. Well, anyways, uh, that is my um, action figure that I will share with you today. I will certainly share more with you guys in the future, and I will try to update as much as possible. Um, thank you for viewing, um, and please 
like this video if you enjoyed it please subscribe so you don't miss any of the videos that i have upcoming um and uh, thank you have a good day